In a world where poachers wield bullets and greed, science is now arming the rhinos with some radiation. A daring project in South Africa is turning rhino horns slightly radioactive. The aim is to save the species from extinction. And our next report is from South Africa. Take a look. Poachers have hunted rhinos to the brink, all for a horn worth more than gold, fetching up to $400,000 per kg in illicit markets, mostly in countries like China, where it's wrongly believed to cure everything from cancer to hangovers. But South Africa is rewriting this brutal script. Conservationists are embedding radioactive isotopes into rhino horns, making them traceable, dangerous to smuggle and worthless to traffickers. The situation is, in South Africa, if you're caught in possession of radioactive material, it's defined as a crime against the state. So theoretically, it can open up the possibility of a person being charged with you know, that sort of offence as well as wildlife trafficking offences. So you're just kind of ramping up the, the, the re reward risk ratio in the favour of us. The Rhizotope Project, led by the University of Witwatersrand, represents conservation's nuclear gambit. Scientists inject tiny amounts of radioactive material directly into rhino horns, a procedure that doesn't harm the animals but transforms their horns into glowing beacons detectable by nuclear security scanners at airports, borders, and shipping ports worldwide. It actually costs much less in terms of veterinary costs and drugs, and then because you only need to treat every five years, it ultimately saves money for the rhino owners because they're so brave looking after these animals and continuing to be their custodians and reserves, etc. So we, we're trying to help and just up the ante of it in the anti-poaching game. At the beginning of the 20th century, 500,000 rhinos roamed Africa and Asia. By 1970, rhino numbers dropped to 70,000. Today, 16,000 rhinos remaining globally. In 2024, 420 rhinos were killed in South Africa. Each death brings the species closer to extinction. Now this novel method to save rhinos using nuclear tech offers a lot of promise. Critics question the ethics of altering wild animals, but supporters argue desperate times demand radical solutions. The isotopes pose no health risks to rhinos. The same radioactive materials are used safely in medical procedures. Six years of intensive research and testing, Wits University has announced the Rhizotope project has officially reached operational status where rhinos will effectively be protected through nuclear technology. The latest anti-poaching campaign injects rhino horns with radioactive isotopes that are harmless to rhinos but lights up airport radiation detectors. Scientists say the tests also confirmed that individual horns could be detected inside full 40-foot shipping containers, creating a powerful deterrent for traffickers. However, this announcement has been met with mixed reactions. While some say this is a fantastic step towards wildlife conservation, others have questioned about the real safety of the animal's health. Private and public rhino owners and conservation authorities have been urged to approach the university to have their rhinos injected. This is Kaldan Almo from Johannesburg, South Africa for We On World Is One. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.